We are going to do a coin toss to determine who walks to the ring first, who gets introduced first. Denzel, I'm going to hand you this silver dollar. Uh, this is how it's going to go down. Oscar heads, Shakur tails. The winner of the toss will walk second and be introduced first. Does that make sense, guys? The winner of the toss will walk to the ring second, but will be introduced first. It is NFL Draft Week here in Vegas, along with this incredible... You got questions. Wait, to Speaking to the mic so everybody can hear you. Oh, I walk to the ring second if I It win. depends who wins the toss. The winner of the toss will walk, walk second, oh. but be introduced Head. first. Head. Heads, tails. Heads and tails have already been established. Denzel, <laughs> flip that coin, brother. Toss it up. You're going to toss it up. Hopefully we can catch it. Catch it. Flip it on your wrist. Right there. What do we got? We got tails. So you won the toss. So you will be walking second, oh, but I will introduce you first. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Brother, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I'm very excited for this. You know, it's, uh, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I dream of these type of opportunities to be fighting for Unified World Championships, to be here in Vegas. I'm just very excited right now to be in this mega fight. And I can't wait. I'm anxious to step in the ring April 30th. I, I speak the truth every time I talk. So uh, I feel like he didn't want to fight me at 126, and now we're here at 130. And uh, he was trying to fight Navarrete before fighting me, but um, we here now. We can't keep talking about that. The fight here is fight. Uh, I fight Saturday, and I'm ready to fight. Because the perfect timing. It was a perfect timing. Shakur Stevens is a two-time world champion right now. My myself, I'm a, I'm a two-time world champion. It is a perfect time right now. Let's prove who is the best 130 pounds. And let's get it on April 30th. And let's just show it. Just, I think this is the correct time to do it. What was what was it like having Canelo in your camp, getting you ready for Saturday night? You know, it's great. You know, it's great um, training besides Canelo Alvarez and on the side of him. You know, there's always you can learn different things from fighters with great experience like these type. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day because at the end of the day, the ones who are going to be inside the ring is going to be me and Shakur. So it doesn't matter if uh, Canelo trained me or teaches me different things. The end of the day is who has the bigger heart inside the ring April 30th. Shakur, what about you, man, having Bud in your camp? Uh, when Bud was in my camp, Bud um, came and we sparred each other. But uh, I feel like it's a difference with his camp because he had Canelo with him every step of the way. And Canelo was right there next to him telling him how to hook, jab, and they was uh, with each other every step of the way. So when I beat him, I'm going to feel good beating him, Canelo, Eddie Reynoso, the whole team. <laughs> Well, those definitely those fights have built us up, you know, built myself up to have the confidence and, and the experience that I have right now to be the fighter that I am. So, yes, it's, uh, it was tough at first, but now, you know, we're in this great position. You know, all those great fights that I've had has turned me into a fighter that I am right now with a lot of experience and just, you know, continue building a career, you know, continue building my, my legacy. You know, we all want to be the best. We all want to be the top, the top pound for pound list. But to win, to be in that list, you gotta beat fighters, uh, like in this case, you know, go through Shakur, through fighters like Shakur Stevenson. So that's definitely that's definitely the the fight that we have to win to be in our in our, in our big step to become one of the pound top pound for pound. Um, I feel like Styles is different. Um, he's not the same as a Jamel Henry. He's not the same as a Nakatia. Uh, you may never know. It might be easier than a Nakatia. It might be harder than a um, Nakatia. Like you never know what type of fighter he is. So uh, at the end of the day, um, once we get in the ring, we're going to settle it once we get in the ring. But I'm prepared for whatever. Um, it was a great camp. Um, I'm in the best shape of my life. My grandfather got me here. Um, everybody a part of my team, Jack, K, Dirt, um, everybody got me to this point where I'm ready to fight Oscar Valdez. However this fight go, if it goes 12 rounds in early, I'm prepared for whatever. Oscar? Yeah, we did a we did a great training camp. You know, I'm very excited for this. You know, I'm physically, mentally prepared to go all 12 rounds. And I'm, like I said, man, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. I'm ready, focused, weight is on. You know, I just can't wait for April 30th to step in the ring and, and show the world. You know, I grew up watching these fighters. You know, I grew up, uh, you know, watching fighters like uh, Marco Antonio Barrera versus Eric Morales, and they inspired me. They inspired me to fight to be the fighter that I am right now. And I want to continue growing to be to ins the same way, inspire the new generation the same way they inspired me. So, you know, to become somebody like Eric Morales or Marco Antonio Barrera, Juan Manuel Marquez, you got to go through fighters like Shakur Stevenson with, with good names, with good recognition. When they have the belts on the line, undefeated records, this is a great opportunity for me to try to, to become something close to what my idols did. Yes. 
What do you think? I think he's coming to bang. That's it. I don't think. I think he's trying to trick me into thinking he's about to try to box me and be technical, but I'm not falling for that. So, what are you ready for? I'm ready for the Oscar Valdez who go in there throwing all them hooks and putting pressure. You ready for that? Yes. That's it. Yes. Oscar, you ready? Well, I'm ready. I've been training. I've been ready for quite, quite some time. And, and we're going to give you the first face-off of the week. We've been waiting for this one a long time, ladies and gentlemen. It is the WBC, the WBO Ring Magazine Junior Lightweight Championships of the World, Saturday, April 30th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oscar Valdez, Shakur Stevenson, two kings, one crown. It is the Unified Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Saturday, April 30th, MGM Grand Garden Arena. As always, this is boxing. This is top rank. We will see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins.